It's really a pleasure to be here. And I do want to say that uh, outside the School of Education, there's a beautiful small statue that is uh, the flame that's um, the best should teach. And we use it as a touchstone in our program, our motto for preparing teachers is the best you teach. And we encourage our students to go touch that, especially in a dark moment, and, and it will lift you up. And we really believe that. Uh, it's a privilege to get to introduce our gold recipients who are K-12 public teachers. And could I ask you recipients to come on up and stand here together in solidarity, and then I'm going to introduce each one of you individually. So could you come on up right now? Usually teachers don't like to come up and be recognized because they're pretty modest folk, really, when it comes down to it. And it is going to, I'm going to say something as you're walking up here. And I think all of us privately talk about how wonderful teachers are and the ones who've touched us. But the public discourse about teachers, especially right now, is not typically very, come on, all the way up. <laughs> is not always respectful of teachers. And so today, in front of all of these folks, um, it is such a, an honor and privilege to introduce publicly and celebrate really great teaching because all of us at the university utterly depend on the work that you do every single day from kindergartners to high schoolers to have people come here ready to go. So thank you. All right. Kelly to step forward. Uh, Kelly Clark. Sorry. <laughs> it's a popular name. <laughs> so Kelly Clark teaches seventh grade language arts at Timberline K-8 school and is completing her master's degree in literacy here at CU Boulder. Kelly believes that all students need unconditional love. And by continually expressing her love towards her students, they grow to not only respect her, but to love her as well. This past year, Kelly's objective was to maximize classroom efficiency by engaging every student for the entire period. And 40 minutes, 45, 50 can seem like a long time when you track that as your goal. Uh, Kelly has a laser-like focus on teaching each individual student, and by expertly modifying instruction, she effectively engages all students in learning. Kelly was, has taken on leadership roles by serving on her school's Learning Technology Plan Committee and on the district's Language Arts Leadership Team. And it is through her unique and engaging teaching methods that Kelly's students transform into active learners in the classroom. Congratulations. all of that at a very early period in her career, which is really quite extraordinary. Um, next, I'd like to introduce Shelley, who teaches in Boulder Valley School District, as BBSD. <laughs> Shelley has taught for over 15 years in Boulder Valley School District and currently teaches kindergarten at Foothill Elementary. A lifelong learner, Kelly joined the BBSD Kindergarten Literacy Lab training this past year, where she took classes observed model classrooms and was observed by the course instructor throughout the year. She is certified to teach early childhood, elementary education, English language development, and special education. Kelly also has participated in the Take My Teacher Home project, which I'm kind of curious to know what that is, <laughs> and is a member of the Hills Child Study Team. Welcome. Emergent, and she's also part of the Emergency Response Team, the Technology <coughs> Committee, and the Social Committee, which just shows you there's all this other life that teachers have outside of class. Kelly believes that success is achieved by fostering positive homeschool connections. She creates partnerships with families and is in constant communication about classroom activities and student progress. Kelly's attention to each individual student through customized lessons gives her kindergartner students the springboard they need to succeed in school. Congratulations. So let me introduce you all to uh, Dr. Amy Martinson. She teaches band and orchestra at Hills Campus of Arts and Sciences. She earned her master's degree in music education at Northwestern 
and her PhD in music education here at CU Boulder. <laughs> Amy also guest lectures at the University of Colorado on urban music education and on teaching music with diverse student populations. For many of Amy's students, music has never been an artistic outlet prior to her class. A sixth grade student who has never picked up an instrument can leave three years later competing at the state and national level and wanting to pursue music in high school and beyond. A well-loved teacher, Amy's students literally run to the classroom carrying their instruments, and some of those are heavy, and do not want to leave. Students not only learn how to play music, but also learn to love and appreciate it as well. Amy also has a talent for giving both individual feedback and classroom-wide critique. The love, of, the love for music she constantly expresses truly lets Amy embody the arts in Hills campuses of arts and sciences. Thank you. Kelly Pear, you're next. It's a pleasure to introduce Kelly Pear, who has taught mathematics at Overland Trail Middle School for four years. Kelly is also a district leader, working actively with the Math Leaders Group. This group collaboratively works to address the changing Common Core standards and standards for mathematical practices. In the classroom, Kelly fosters an enjoyable learning environment by being able to see learning through the eyes of her students. Kelly's students are empowered both in and through their learning in a thoughtful and engaging environment. Always looking to improve, Kelly regularly reflects on her lessons and relationships with students. She assesses student understanding daily and consistently communicates with students. Not only does Kelly positively impact the lives of her students, she also influences her colleagues. By developing meaningful relationships with students and teachers alike, Kelly plays a vital role in making Overland Trail an actively engaged learning community. Congratulations. Last but not least, I'd like to introduce Amy Stern. Amy has taught English reading and Legacy 2000, which is a STEM program, at Legacy High School for 10 years. She also has achieved the distinguished recognition of becoming a National Board Certified Teacher, which, if you're not familiar with it, is one of the highest honors in our profession, and it is only earned through a year of rigorous scrutiny and assessment of your teaching practice in multiple ways, so it's really quite an honor. And, and path to get there. Amy teaches everything from, me, from remedial reading to AP language to math, science, and technology. Each day, her classroom objectives and instructional practices revolve around rigorous state standards, 21st century skills, response to intervention, and research-based practices. Using blogs, wikis, and her own website, Amy actively incorporates technology into her classes. She is also a valued member of the Legacies Technology Study Group Modeling Experimentation, Implementation, and Reflection. In addition, Kelly, uh, Amy collaborated with other teachers to create a school-wide writing goal and has served her department as a team facilitator, a leader in the classroom inside and out. Amy's tru Amy truly impacts the lives of the students she teaches. Congratulations. Congratulations. 